out. <laughs> yeah, you got to get rid of those first couple of rounds, it seems like. All right, I'm going to fire uh, the rest of them into the dirt just so we can see how quiet it is. I'll lock back on the last round. That's cool. All righty. Bump, uh, here we go. This is the same setup that blew up the suppressor in the first place. Oh, we already got a jam here. Locked back on the last round. <laughs> oh man, it yeah, is just, you know, you can only have a smile on your face when you're doing that. So <laughs> let's, let's move on to some supersonic rounds here. And that's why I've got loaded up in this drum here. So, and try and hit these small targets. little target whoa catastrophic failure oh no safe. Oh my gosh, and I'm going to point this over here. Oh my gosh. What just happened? There it is. And this is hot. Oh, we had a baffle strike. Major League baffle strike. Wouldn't be so painful if it wasn't so hard to uh, get suppressors, <laughs> but take this round out. Let's go and take a look at this uh, rifle real fast. And uh, starting at the top, or the tip, I should say, is what's left of that Odin uh, Odin Works Nav 22 suppressor uh, I still have two baffles that are good and the uh, muzzle is you know good as well the uh, end cap as well as the steel baffle and the adapter right here so I did reach out to Odin works and they've been incredibly helpful so far um, right after this video I'm gonna send this off uh, free of charge and they're gonna take a look at it uh, replace the baffles rework the oh what's that word Concentricity? Concentricity? Eh, that's probably wrong. What is concentricity? But basically get everything, uh, you know, properly, properly aligned and then send it back to me. So far, free of charge. Um, the stuff that I was using that blew up the suppressor, quite literally, is this uh, Remington Thunderbolt. And let's just go ahead and share this moment together real quick here one of the best sights that you can witness is the opening of a brand new brick of 22s look at how sparkly and shiny that all is ah oh, all that is right there is just fun 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 <laughs> potential fun fun waiting to happen okay so anyways the bulk of the shooting 
was with this Remington Thunderbolt. And mostly out of this drum. Uh, this, by the way, is the Black Dog, I believe. Yeah, Black Dog Machine LLC 50 round drum mag. Uh, I really like it a lot, it's awesome. But while I was shooting the drum with the Remington Thunderbolt, it blew up my suppressor. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get all the pieces here. And I'm about to send all of these pieces back to Odin Works. You know, some of these completely snapped off, as you can see, like this um, baffle right here and this one both lost the threaded part which was then lodged in the preceding baffle and so I had to break these two baffles in half and then kind of work them out um, after I broke it in half as you can kind of see that oh there it goes <laughs> so anyways I'm going to be sending all these pieces back to Odin Works and they're going to make things right as they say in their um, in their words so anyways this one's kind of gnarly right here this Baffle really got hit. And it peeled up a little piece of metal right there. Interesting. All right, let's go and put this away. And right after this video is done, I'm dropping this all in the mail. And it's going straight back to Odin Works. I gotta say, Odin Works has been amazing uh, through the emails that we've sent, and they already sent me a UPS label to ship everything back in. So. No charge at all to me. But let's just go ahead and talk about the suppressor real quick because it kind of baffles me. No pun intended. <laughs> it really does. Because uh, I don't. I said in the shooting footage that it probably unscrewed itself, but I had to pry those threaded parts out of the preceding uh, baffle in order to get it um, to get it all apart. Basically, the suppressor broke into three pieces and. Two, you know, this piece right here, the adapter and the steel baffle stayed on the rifle and was threaded down really tight. And then the other two pieces that shot off of the gun, um, all those two pieces had multiple baffles that were all threaded down very tightly. So I don't think it actually worked itself loose. And what's really weird is that you can see in the shooting footage that the last two shots, the suppressor started like flopping around and what's even more odd is that it didn't seem to throw off the uh, the bullet too much because you could hear it hit steel. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it may have been ammo related. There may have been a couple of just really crazy wild shots that immediately took a different trajectory to, you know, straight out of the muscle than what it was supposed to go. <laughs> and maybe the suppressor was building up a lot of pressure on the inside. I mean, I'm not sure what exactly happened, but either way, I wouldn't really recommend using a suppressor with uh, the BMF activator, you know, just in case something like that happens again. I don't really want to go through the trouble, even though Odin works seems like they're going to make everything okay. So first of all, please excuse the uh, gloves here. Uh, I've been biting my nails a little too much. They got a little bloody. So instead of giving you guys a horse show, um, I just went ahead and put these gloves on. But I want to take a look at the uh, suppressor that just came back from Odin Works. I'm super excited. This is about three weeks later. And they replaced the entire thing. I can't believe that they did that. Um, that's really cool on them completely free of charge they um, replaced all six baffles as well as the steel baffle right here and the adapter because this adapter has some nice clean threads and so does everything else actually they uh, replaced the end cap as well so yeah I'm just completely thrilled I can't believe that after completely blowing this thing up, no questions asked, they uh, replaced the whole thing. So, good on Odin Works. Thank you very much.
but let's just go ahead and unscrew it a bit take a look at some things so this right here is what a brand new baffle looks like nice and clean but yeah all of the baffles inside here look great I mean Odin works I can't believe it <laughs> you guys are amazing I'm just very excited that I finally got this back because you can see right here I picked up a toy this right here is the Ruger LCP light rack in 22 long rifle and at first uh, I, I didn't really see the point in this gun um, I didn't understand it but it's one of those things that I don't think you're gonna understand until you start shooting it and now this is the only gun that I want to shoot it really is so much fun and and what's this little thing popping out right here well I believe that might be a threaded barrel So give me one second, because I got to put an adapter on here. And now, check this out. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I haven't shot it like this yet, obviously, because um, I got this little LCP light rack um, after the suppressor blew up so I haven't had a chance to try it out but I think one thing that would make it even cooler is maybe taking half of the baffles off and now you've got yourself a nice little package now that's way cool One thing that I'm, you know, going to give Odin Works its only strike on, just one quality control issue, and it's this uh, steel baffle that they replaced. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Try and get in focus, but there's like this bubbling stuff going on, and I don't know. I I tried you know, kind of like rubbing it and stuff and. It's not really coming out. I think it's some sort of like a heat treatment thing that happened. Um, so, anyways, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just happy to have the suppressor back. So, we're going to go and try this out in a couple days. I can't wait. Um, it's Friday right now. I got the weekend ahead. I'm going to go shooting. <laughs> I'm really excited. I can't wait to try this uh uh, Odin Works Nav 22 on that Ruger LCP light rack. There we go. Okay. Well, this is the best we got right now. Uh, so <laughs> it's like 30 degrees and 15 mile an hour winds. But got right here this little guy, Ruger. LCP light rack and uh, loaded up some with some Remington Thunderbolt. I was gonna see how this cycles real fast before we put the suppressor back on. One hundred percent. All right. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I've got all six baffles on because I just wanted to test the functionality of it. Uh, not necessarily the sound suppression. That'll probably come in the later video. So, uh, again, just loaded up with Remington Thunderbolt. And if it works well with this, I'm going to try some subsonic. Nice. 100% with uh, Remington Thunderbolts. Here, I got another magazine loaded up here. 
We're getting a lot of gas blowback, that's for sure. But it's working pretty well so far. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Look at that smoke. I don't know if you can see, but... Oh, cool. All right. So that's really uh, quiet, as a matter of fact. Okay, so 10 more rounds with Remington Thunderbolt. And then I've also got another 10 rounds of the uh, CCI uh, quiet uh, semi-autos. They're going uh, 835 feet per second. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm using this Remington Thunderbolt is because it's, uh, it's a pretty high velocity round uh, for a uh, 22. And I think that helps cycling this uh, slide up here. Um, Another thing, uh, another reason, obviously, is just because it's, you know, pretty dirt cheap stuff, and if it can work uh, reliably with the Remington Thunderbolt, there's a good chance that this is going to work reliably with just about any 22. So, again, uh, the other one I'm going to try is the CCI Quiet uh, Semi-Autos, and this has a uh, 45 grain bullet, so I'm hoping that that little extra weight will also help to cycle the slide. So. First, we're going to do the 10 rounds of the Thunderbolt. And I'm just going to shoot this into the dirt so we can see how quiet it is. At a stove pipe with the very last round. But that's all right. <laughs> I'll shoot pretty quick. That's very quiet. I'm guessing it's probably staying subsonic out of this tiny little barrel. So. This is the CCI, sorry about the wind, so this is the CCI semi-auto, uh, quiet semi-autos, and I got one already loaded up, no, I don't think we're going to have enough power to cycle the slide, no, I can already tell, it's not working. Oh well, it was worth a try. Ah, uh, mag uh, disconnect. So I'm not gonna do the rest of those semi-autos or the uh, CCI quiet semi-autos because that'd just be wasting some rounds. But um, this thing's pretty uh, pretty darn reliable with the Remington Thunderbolt. So I brought out a couple other guns. I just want to try real quick. So give me one sec. So next we're gonna do the. Taurus TX-22 and again with the uh, Remington Thunderbolt there's 15 rounds loaded up in this just to uh, check reliability uh -oh. got one uh, little jam two little jams Two little jams. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the suppressor on here real quick. This gun uh, operates, I think, a little more reliably with the uh, Federal Auto Match. Um, usually, I don't get any jams out of this gun, but now we're gonna try it with. Uh, I think this is 20 rounds loaded up. Oh, so cold. <laughs> 20 rounds loaded up with a uh, five-round mag extension right there and we'll see how it operates with the suppressor one hundred percent oh that's awesome very cool Warm my hands up with the uh, heat of the suppressor. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the gun that blew the suppressor up in the first place. The moment that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, so I've got the drum right here loaded up with 50 rounds of Remington Thunderbolt. The same exact uh, you know setup that blew up the suppressor. But before 
we get to that. We've got 25 rounds of the uh, CCI quiet semi-autos, which seem to operate pretty well in this rifle. So let's give it a try. There's that second round. All right, I'm gonna check that for a firing pin strike. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. All right. See if the uh, the rest of them operate. Nope. Yeah, you got to get rid of those first couple of rounds, it seems like. All right, I'm going to fire uh, the rest of them into the dirt, just so we can see how quiet it is. I'll lock back on the last round, that's cool. All righty. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. This is the same setup that blew up the suppressor in the first place. Loaded up with Remington Thunderbolt. It's not going to be super, super quiet, but it should be uh, pretty tolerable. I'm gonna. I'm keeping my ears on anyways, just because it's so cold out here. It feels uh, way nicer with ears on than with ears off. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna fire some off into the dirt. Yeah, you can definitely still hear the crack. I don't think I was getting much of a crack out of this uh, tiny gun right here because it has such a small barrel. I don't think it was building up enough velocity to uh, to, to get to uh, subsonic or sorry to supersonic. So, how many rounds we got left? About 10, 15, something like that. All right. Oh, this is so much fun right here. Okay, it is cold and windy out here, so I'm gonna end the video. But I'm I'm just really glad that this uh, suppressor that was sent back to me is operating really well. And uh, I'm going to do another video just going over, you know, everything with this suppressor. This was just really more of an update video. So, thanks for watching, guys.